So this is a brief recap of the Venus return in Stalin's law, um, also focusing on the stroke volume and how it responds to exercise. So we'll just take a quick look at a couple of slides that we covered over in the lesson. Um, fundamentally, we're looking at the stroke volume and its increase as in, uh, the exercise intensity also increases as well. So let's say, for example, down here is the intensity of the exercise. Um, let's say this is a, a running machine, level 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. And up here we have the stroke volume. So as the intensity of the exercise increases, initially our stroke volume will increase as well. This will only happen uh, up to about 40 to 60% of our maximum effort. So our maximum heart rate, take a percentage of that, and between 40 and 60% will actually reach a plateau. So we get to a point, let's say, or about 150 millilitres is actually being forced out of our heart per beat. That's our stroke volume. But then it plateaus. So there's no further increase. So part of the reason for that is our heart can't actually fill up quick enough to still have this 150 millilitres. Because the venous return, which we'll talk about in the next chapter, there isn't actually enough blood being returned to the heart for it to then to be sent out again. So this will actually plateau. As the intensity increases, so let's say we're moving on to level 14, 16 and upwards of the exercise, we still need to have a large amount of blood being pumped to our working muscles. But as the stroke volume isn't able to do that, we need to find another way. Part of the reason that we get this drop off is because of the speed of the contraction of the heart. So let's say, for example, at rest we're beating at 70, 70 beats per minute, which is the average. We then increase that to 160, 180. The heart isn't able to fill up enough for there to be the same stroke volume. And at points, as you can see there, we've got this element of reduction. So how on earth is the heart able to maintain the cardiac output, in other words, the amount of blood that's sent out per minute, if our stroke volume is actually dropping off. So this is the question that we're looking at here. 40 to 60%, how are we able to maintain the Q, which is our cardiac output? Hopefully you've got the answer, which is an increase in our heart rate. So even though our stroke volume is plateaued and then at times actually dropping down to maybe 130 millilitres being kicked out per stroke volume, our heart rate increases, so therefore it compensates for the amount of blood that's being reduced in our stroke volume. And if you think about that, that works as you're running along, you can feel yourself, your heart rate increasing up to a high level because it's trying to compensate for this lack of stroke volume. So hopefully that will give you an idea about how the two things are interlinked, exercise and stroke volume.